Now there is no denying the fact that Star Wars fans left in droves after the Acolyte series dropped on Disney Plus back in June and ended a couple of months afterwards. And we already know that those like Leslie Headland, the director of this thing, along with Kathleen Kennedy, the president of Lucasfilm, they are the ones responsible for creating this atrocity on screen. And we already know at the same exact time that this created a domino effect. The main reason why the Ray movie is on hold right now, why Taika Waititi's Star Wars film is in shambles and in jeopardy, as well as James Mangold's Jedi Prime movie, which by the way is supposed to take place 25,000 years before episode 1, that too is in jeopardy, all because of the Acolyte series failing miserably on their streaming platform. This is Mike Zero. Subscribe if you're new and like this video to see future updates. You can also follow me at Mike Zero One. I thank you also very much for the great and kind support. So, actress Jodie Turner Smith at it again toward the fans and really taking her anger out on the community once more. We already know that this is typical Lucasfilm behavior. These are the types of people that Kathleen Kennedy tends to hire. Not a big shocker there. That's nothing new. But at the same exact time, we know that the Acolyte series was the biggest failure under Lucasfilm and Disney's wing. Without a doubt. Even worse than The Last Jedi. All right, It had a more damaging effect than that actual Star Wars movie by Ryan Johnson. Now, interestingly enough, we know that Jodie Turner Smith is just as insufferable as Leslie Hedlund, Amanda Stenberg, and among others that were a part of this project, and is beginning to go on the blame game train again in the midst of this ongoing Star Wars boycott or the lack of care, I should say, coming from Star Wars fans. There's a lot of apathy going on right now. Now, with Lucasfilm officially in a financial crisis after overfunding the Acolyte series and pouring excessive amounts in their budget and marketing for that show, one major development brewing now involves more to do with actress Jodie Turner-Smith, who went on yet another tirade toward the fandom, where she delivered the following. I just think that we as a people deserve so much better for the work that we put into the Acolyte and everything that Leslie had built to address the rising issues of sexism and misogyny and how we successfully told that message through Star Wars as a tale. It was beyond obvious that toxic males weren't going to have it with that, which I think is ultimately why we didn't get a season two. It rests all on the toxic vocal people that call themselves fans. Listen, if you are a true Star Wars fan, you would sit and watch a piece of art evolve and take it for what it is and fairly criticize it. Fairly. I also think it's unacceptable for, unacceptable for the studios to make a decision based on a part of this community that is forever doomed with negativity and personal issues that they take out on female stars in a Star Wars show. It's just absolutely horrendous that this is the time that we live in right now and how entertainment is treated. We deserve better and the world deserves better. The Acolyte was an innovative Star Wars story for everyone, and I mean everyone, that comes from different backgrounds. More often than not, studios promise that they are looking out for those like me, only to turn their backs on us and it needs to stop. Enough is enough and something needs to be done to normalize what we are aiming to provide in this industry and to expand our audience space. Star Wars is not just for fans, it's for everybody on this planet that comes from different cultures, ethnicities, and backgrounds. And that's the magic of it all. For one, we find it to be offensive that the studio interference with this project was something I have never seen before in my career. I just can't. The Acolyte has no agenda. That's all a fantasy by one side of the population that can't seem to cope with the facts that Star Wars goes beyond what was normally presented in George's films that lacked diversity and equality. So guys, let me just pause here quick about what Jodie Turner-Smith is spewing again about her view of the fans, the studios making that decision, and the overall past movies by George Lucas and how she's blaming that that was lacking diversity, lacking female representation. I mean, has she forgotten about characters like Mace Windu? It's just mind-boggling that this is the way that these actresses think in you know 2024 and we're going into 2025 it's not looking good for disney so far with a couple of titles that are dropping in the beginning of that year not associated with star wars by the way just typical disney features but focusing on this 
This is typical Lucasfilm behavior. Like I said earlier in this post, these are the types of people that Kathleen Kennedy is responsible for. These are the types of people that she hires and lets them speak this way, lets them go on this tirade, lets them, you know, represent Lucasfilm, but at the same exact time, acting like, you know, children to the public eye is just... It's mind-boggling. It truly is. I don't. I, I. This is exactly why I've always said, and I stand by my opinion to this day, in 2024, that Lucasfilm is by far the worst division under Disney. Not just because of their lack of leadership skills, but it's also because of the types of people that they hire and how they just let them slide. You know, whatever they want to say on Twitter or through interviews or any kind of social media, whatever it may be. You know, we've had people like her, Amanda Stenberg, Freddie Prince Jr., don't even get me started on him. Um, we've had others, of course, like Amanda Stenberg, like I said before. Uh, so many others across the board. Ryan Johnson, the director of The Last Jedi. Uh, it just goes on and on and on. But interestingly enough, yet again, all right, this is another example of Lucasfilm behavior. Moving on. She goes on to conclude, especially for female representation, that was always my criticism with the old movies by George, was that we didn't have enough representation even in the ones released in the 2000s. She can't even say the prequels. It is my goal to really provide my knowledge in this industry, she says, to as many actresses as I can and to warn them about this very tough business that can be so unfair to all of us. Change needs to be made, and we need to make that happen soon for our careers to grow. What both Kathy and Leslie created is what Star Wars needed to become for years, and we were, we were of course, year, 10 years too late making that happen at home on streaming. It's what the brand needed in order to evolve. There is no agenda or messaging in this one or any of those nonsense claims that make any of that of course now look this is the typical thing that they always say there's no agenda here there's no agenda there but at the same exact time they contradict themselves they begin to get very you know in, caught up in that loop of contradicting themselves there's no agenda but yet we embrace DEI you know it's a re rinse and repeat statement that they all say between her uh, Amanda Stenberg, Leslie Headland, even Bob Iger, the Disney CEO of all people, with his typical robotic response when talking about boycotts and backlash over specific properties and IPs and brands. This is the same exact routine that Disney and Lucasfilm goes through, you know, month by month, pretty much at this point. They didn't have a good 2024 year, let's just put it that way. 23 was a disastrous year, 24 they hoped for recovery, and it didn't work out so well for them in the end. Now, we know that Bob Iger is desperately trying to create a legacy for himself before he steps down in 2026. That is something that he is desperately trying to do. He wants to have some wins throughout next year and the beginning of 2026 before getting out of Disney. But overall, I would like to hear what everyone has to say about Jodie Turner-Smith, the Acolyte disaster, and everything else going on over at Lucasfilm. And if you guys did enjoy the content for today, make sure to drop a thumbs up on this video to support the channel, and I will catch you guys later. Everybody.